Hello everyone, welcome back to WS Cube. In our previous session, we covered what are tuples and how it can be created. Now in this session, we will be discussing about conversion of tuples and we will be also discussing the tuple functions. So let's get started. First of all, what is conversion of tuples? So conversion of tuples means what if we want to add something to the tuple? We know that the tuples are unmutable. Unmutable means once a tuple is created, it cannot be changed. So now to change it, suppose there is a need to change a tuple, there is a need to add something, there is a need to remove something, how it can be converted into a list and then converted back to tuple after making the changes. Let's have a look on how it can be done. Before that, if you want to become a successful data analyst and if you want to learn from our experts live, then you can call on the given number or you can fill the form that is provided in our description. Not just that, with our every batch you will be getting two demo classes for free. So guys, here I'm considering an example. Here I'm creating a tuple over here with the three elements inside it. Let's say I'm taking 10, 20 and 30. Now what I need to do, I'll print it first of all. That print A. I'll be also printing the type of it. That print type A. So as soon as I run it, we get the output that we have 10, 20 and 30 and it belongs to the classes of tuples. Now let's say I want to make a change to a tuple. I want to add something to a tuple. So what can be done to make a change to a tuple or a add or remove something from a tuple? We can convert it into a list and then uh, do the list functions to it and then convert it back to tuple. How it can be done? Let's have a look. So I'm creating a variable b over here that b is equals to list a. Right. Now if I print b. So now I'm considering the same tuple over here that a is equals to list a. If I print it and also print the type of it, let's run and see what do we get. So previously it was a tuple. After after doing the conversion of tuple into a list, we have got it in a list inside the square bracket and it tells us that it belongs to the classes of list. Now what we can do, we can now provide it with any method that we have inside our list. Suppose if I want to add an element to it, let's say I want to add 40 to it. So all I need to do is write a dot append 40 and if I print a and run this program so now you can see we have received with a list which has 10 20 30 44 elements over here 40 has been added to a list now to convert it back all we need to do is write a is equals to couple a and we will print it as well and check the type of it as well so print type a now let's run and see what output do we get over here so we can see that now it has been converted back to a tuple. We can clearly see that there is a parenthesis over here and it says that it belongs to the classes of tuple. So initially we had a tuple over here, A, which had three elements and if we wanted to add an element to it, all we did is we converted to a list, used the functions of list to it and then converted back to a tuple. This is how we can do it. We can use any method to it. We can provide it with any list method by converting it to a list and converting it back to a Pupil. So I hope guys conversion of pupils is very clear to you. Now moving ahead our next uh, topic here is that fun what functions, what pupil functions, what pupil methods we have over here in Python. So we have very simple tuple methods that we have we have had in our list that is the length and the count. We can count how many times any element is occurring inside the tuple and we can also count how many uh, what is the length of the tuple. We cannot use any other inbuilt functions inside it because uh, as tuple is an unmutable uh, data type, uh, no as tuple is the unmutable data types, no changes can be made to it. That's why only length and count function can be used on it. So let's see how it can be done. If I want to find the length of it, all I need to do is write print length of A. So if I write len of A and run the program, so I will get 3 over here that there are 3 elements. Suppose at the same time if I have 10, 20 and again 10 over here and I want to count how many times any element is occurring over here. All I need to do is write print A dot count. Uh, what I want to count, I want to count how many times uh, number 10 is occurring over here. So if I run it, I get that I... I get the count over here 3 that uh, 10 number 10 is occurring 3 times. Similarly, if I want to check it for any other number, let's say I want to check it for 30. If I run the program, it will tell me that it is occurring one time inside the tuple. So these were two basic functions that we have inside the tuples. And, uh, and I hope you guys have no doubts and no questions in this. 
So in our today's session, we covered how we can convert tuple into a list and uh, apply list functions to it and convert it back to tuple. And in the second part, we learned there are two basic uh, tuple functions that we can apply to it that we can use to find the length and we can use uh, count functions to find how many times an element is occurring inside the tuples. So guys, uh, this was about tuples. In our next session, we will be solving some problems related to the tuples. I hope you guys have no doubts and no questions. So stay connected and I'll see you in the next session. Thank you.